Hey everybody, Christian here from Android Unite, back again with another product review video. This time I'm doing an unboxing of the Typhoon H. Uh, this is a 4K video capture uh, capable drone, a hexacopter to be exact, um, that just released in the last week, week and a half. I've got one of the very first wave of units and I'm going to do a complete unboxing and do a little close up uh, so you guys can see what comes in the box. Now you may be asking yourself why is uh, you know why why is this on the channel? Well, it does come with a ground control station here, this controller, and it's got a built-in seven-inch Android-powered tablet. And so I'm going to uh, do some videos in the future on how, some tips and tricks how to get around some of the um, some of the restrictions that Unique has pla put in place, um, such as loading the Play Store uh, stuff like that. Um, so definitely keep tuned, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, let's get started with the unboxing. So this will be fairly straightforward. This thing just came in the mail today. Oop. <laughs> Didn't realize it opened forward, but there you go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and lift this actually. Turn it around. And right away you see this uh, little shell made out of styrofoam, but very, very industrial type styrofoam. It's got a little bit of, of a pattern here. Hopefully the camera's picking that up properly. Um, yeah, you can hear it. it's clearly styrofoam there. Uh, but it's very, very rigid, um, and it does come with a little accessories box up here, so make sure that it doesn't get um, misplaced. I'm gonna set this aside here for a second. And put this off to the side while we keep unboxing. Right away you're presented with the hexacopter itself, the Typhoon H. As you can see here. And now that I've got this out, I'm going to move this box back so you guys can get a clear picture here of what it looks like. It's got a power button here on the front, the gimbal along with the 4K camera, this little cover that you can remove, obviously remove, as well as this little um, film that you can peel off to get ready to go and record some 4K video. These arms uh, are retractable, or actually they're, um, uh, you, can, you can put them down, obviously they snap into place, and you can release. So releasable arms here for, for uh, compact travel. The motors are uh, individually marked black and silver is what I've heard, but this actually looks more white than anything. Um, this little uh, nub here is correspo uh, corresponds with the um, type of blade that you'll be using. So this one happens to be black, would go with this one here. So you would lock it, you would follow these instructions that are on uh, the blade itself. So lock, unlock, there you go, you can see it right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and put one on really quick. These are twist on, so it should be fairly easy. So you find the little notch, and then you turn. And that's ready to go. Let me see if I can find a white one. I can see why they say silver on this one. This one does actually look a little silver. This looks white though. So there it is again little close-up. Hopefully I'm getting that in frame. So to snap on, you push in and you twist. That's it. So as I said, power button here. Also, the uh, sensors for uh, obstacle avoidance are on the front. This only has front-mounted uh, obstacle awareness or obstacle avoidance capabilities. Later on in the year when they release the real sense. Uh, Intel um, accessory you'll add to this um, it'll be able to see 360 degrees hopefully at least that's my understanding GPS up here at the top as you can see there look it looks like it's got some exhaust fans right there with uh, some filter or something over them probably to capture dust on its way out. The camera itself is pretty reminiscent of the Typhoon Q500 4K. Um, my understanding, even though this is 
a 360 degree um, rotating camera the uh, sensor itself should be exactly the same as the Q500 4K uh, they just made some minor adjustments to try to improve the quality around the back you see an opening for the battery itself let's pull the battery out give you a quick little tour here it's got this flap in order to pull out go ahead and install it it is a 5400 milliamp hour battery you have to push until you hear it snap there you go and then you set this down box does come with a charger for the battery give you the specs here for it if you want to read up you can just pause that comes with a car charger very convenient in case you're on the go and want to charge up your battery seems to be about I would say three feet three feet long so pretty good set that back in place A shade for your controller unique branded for those sunny days I did mention by the way I forgot to mention that the blades come in this felt like pouch you get 10 of them four extra two of each uh, two extra silver two extra black so quite not quite enough to replace all of them in case they all break but in case you have a small accident break one or two you you definitely have enough spares to replace in this other pouch you will find power cord for the charger itself and a neck harness for your uh, controller in case you want to carry it around your neck you don't have to worry about carrying it the entire time you can just let it go when not in use very cool it's got a three point anchor so well, actually four point anchor and there you go it is unique branded so you can see right there very nice touch that's all that's in that pouch you get the waterproof case for the wizard which is included for those who pre-ordered although now I'm hearing rumors that they're just gonna do it for everyone moving forward hope that's not true hope this is uh, only for people who pre-ordered why because you know it's special to, to put your money put your faith in a company and uh, if they want to reward you for that for putting out you know thirteen hundred dollars um, having faith in them that they were going to deliver on a, on a good product I feel like you should get rewarded for that especially if you had to wait months and months past the time of uh, initial delivery so there's the uh, wizard this can be used as a secondary control by the way so you can control the, the uh, Typhoon H while it's in the air and then use the uh, ST16 which I'll pull out here in a second as the camera control so two-person deal here get the uh, power block and lastly the controller itself the ST16 controller like I said I'm going to be doing quite a few videos on this puppy um, how-to videos I've even got a set of uh, FPV LR antennas to replace both of these for longer distance and um, so yeah that is the unboxing of the Typhoon H I'm gonna be doing tons of videos in great quality good lighting definitely sign up if you're not already a subscriber um, here are the anchor points by the way one two sorry one two three four 
um, yeah, and uh, look forward to seeing a whole bunch of uh, people who are inter interested in drones start uh, leaving some comments around my channel. Thank you guys. This is Christian from Android Unite, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.